Welcome to I Cook, You Measure. I'm your host, Jen Mueller, and our guest measure today. Well, you are more likely to see him firing fastballs into a catcher's mitt and intimidating opposing hitters, but he is going to play chef. It is starting pitcher for the Mariners, Mr. Logan Gilbert. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited for this. This is going to be very exciting. Although I don't know that you were overly excited when I asked you to join the show. <laughs> I was a little bit caught off guard. I'm usually used to being on a baseball field, not really in a kitchen. So we'll, we'll make it work though, I'm excited. And when I asked you like to come on and help me measure, I do believe your response was, I don't know how to cook. Exactly, I don't know anything in the kitchen. I could probably measure, that's better that you asked me that Perfect. instead of actually cooking. So I'll just be taking notes. Okay. Well, you are going to learn how to make an entire dish in one pan today before we are done. Perfect. Because here's the other thing you said. When I asked, what is it that you would like to make? What did you say? At first, I didn't really know. Then I was thinking, well, maybe something like a casserole or something lasagna, something yeah. like that, that yeah. I don't know, I might be able to do, hopefully. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna make today. It is taco turkey chili mac. Perfect. So it's like hamburger helper for adults. We are going to use the skinny taste recipe so it is on the healthier side. But Logan, if you've seen any of these episodes and you see the wine glasses, you know that we always play and measure. Did I say that right? We can go with that. We always cook and measure and play around with wine and our food pairing. So today, I have chosen a Malbec. Do you drink Malbecs? Do you drink I'm reds? I'm not very familiar but I okay. guess I'll learn today. Okay, so this Malbec is from Curlew Cellars, one of my favorites, um, not only Malbecs, but one of my favorite winemakers. Ryan Crane is the winemaker, and Curlew is the sound a crane makes. Really? Didn't Did you know, know that? that? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, do you know what that sound is like? I don't. It is like a child screeching or a <laughs> really screechy like merry-go-round. Great. Yeah, I'm Perfect. not gonna make this sound. <laughs> the wine is way better than the sound. I'm gonna have you open this. Okay. And I'm gonna have you pour. Malbec is one of my favorites and one of my go-tos. That's right. Yep, so you twist, yep. I would say that while I can pair wine with any food and I will drink wine with anything that I make, I don't know that I have a favorite pairing when it comes to wine and this particular meal, but I always love a Malbec. This one should be jammy, it should be juicy. Yeah, you got it. How's that? And you could really pair just about anything you wanted to, so. Hey, I'm gonna I'll be super impressed. So let me show you how to make this easier. These, like ladder there we stuff. Go. In I'm learning a lot already. There you go. <laughs> okay, pour us a All little right. bit. I love bringing people along in the wine world. All right. Excellent. Now I'm going to take a sip. You said you might wait until we actually. I'm, I'm going to wait till the food. Yeah, you go ahead. You, you, wanna, you it, get well, it you're letting for it us. open. Is exactly. what you're letting it do. Yeah, I'm very mature in the wine world, as you can tell. I almost spit my <laughs> wine out at that. I don't know why. Okay, now it's time to get cooking. I am going to put about a pound of ground turkey into the Dutch oven, you are gonna do some measuring okay. of seasonings. So in front of you, we've already got that going, which is good. So in front of you, you should have oregano, paprika, garlic powder, chili powder, mm -hmm. and cumin. Got it all. Okay, so I'm gonna hand you this. All right. Each one of these gets a teaspoon and a half. You have a half teaspoon measuring cup. Okay, so it should be three. Three. If my math is I mean, right. I wasn't gonna put you <laughs> on the spot, but kind of. I think I can do that. Each one gets three? Each one of those four gets three. Okay. This one's a different measurement. It's one of the ways I learned math and fractions as a kid. Mom would help That's a good me way to do it, in right? the kitchen. Yeah, I'm not real fond of math in general. I'm usually okay at it, but I get nervous in the kitchen, so I'm just making sure I'm right. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I get nervous saying numbers on TV. Like I'm going to transpose them, and that's really going to cause problems when I talk about somebody's ERA or yeah. number of strikeouts. <laughs> sure. You know, like you might be hearing about it afterwards yes. from somebody. Yes. All right. We've got garlic powder. Last one here. So I guess if it tastes horrible, we know it's probably my fault. <laughs> Why would it taste horrible? Maybe I, I didn't measure it right or something. No. And when it comes to measuring spices, it can be just a personal preference. So what you're probably going to taste in this, because we've got so much else going in there, what you would be more apt to taste would be if we added too much salt or not enough salt. Oh, okay. This is essentially making like a taco seasoning. Let's do a half a teaspoon of oregano. Okay. So just one of those. And I'm gonna reach over and grab salt. There we go. Perfect. And do one teaspoon of salt. So when you said that you don't know how to cook, was there an incident that confirmed that for you? Uh, man, I, I don't know many things in the kitchen, but I can do all right with chicken and pork and stuff like that. But then in college, my roommate would make fun of me because I would take like over an hour to cook a piece of chicken on the stove and clearly I was doing something wrong. So I think I had it on like one or two, the lowest setting, thinking that's what you were supposed to do and wondering why the chicken's still pink after an hour. So better than better than burning it, I guess. But it was my entire night just to make just, dinner just to make for one piece of, piece of chicken. Yeah. So. so instead of trying to just bump up the heat a little bit, we just gave up cooking altogether. Exactly. I okay. just thought I wasn't cut out for it. Avalie yeah. does a much better job than me in the <laughs> kitchen, so I just let her handle that and it helps me out too. So if your wife is cooking, do you clean up? I. Sometimes, yeah, I do, I do. That should have been, I, that should have been an instantaneous, yes, of course I clean no, if she's cooking. It's funny, because I do say that, but sometimes she'll say a different answer, so now um, we, we have a little conversation to have about that, because I could do a better job, but <laughs> I would like to think that I help out. Should we tell people why you're dancing around this topic? I mean, uh, well, she is. She is looking at me, shaking her head right now. She's our live audience. So. It is our first live audience. I know. I'm sure I'll, I might hear about it afterwards. On the, on so. the drive home, might exactly. be. Exactly. Uh, go ahead and dump this into here. Okay. Okay. And now, I'm going to put you to work with a little chopping. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm nervous already. I'm nervous for you because right. this requires use of a knife and you need your hands I will to be, work. Yeah, I'll be using my right hand cutting here, so. Okay, you can, but is that not, is that not your dominant, no. I, I usually would cut lefty, but I don't wanna hold it with my right hand, so. Okay. But I can, I can do both hands, I'm pretty good with that. I can ultimately end up cutting here. Here's what I'm gonna have you do. We've got one red pepper. I have already washed that. Okay. So go ahead and cut that pepper however you would like. We're gonna put one I get pepper. the freedom however I want. Here. However you want. Ultimately, what we're going to want is kind of a dice, because we're gonna put it into here. Okay. And you don't want huge chunks of pepper. Gotcha. Right, like, because it's kind of chili-ish, right, right? Right, So. Does this look right, something like that? It does. Now what I would actually do, because it's going to make a mess if you cut into that, so here's what I would do. Very unceremonious. There's lots of different oh. ways to cut a bell pepper, and real chefs will tell you how to do it and save more of the bell pepper, but that's what I would do. That's good with me. Should I cut it this way? And then, yep. So I would do it so that you've got a mostly flat edge, which you don't want to do anytime okay. you're cutting, kids at home. You don't really want a rocking surface, right? I would hold it, so, yep. I'm just guessing here. I have, I've never <laughs> cut a bell pepper in my life. So okay. if something looks wrong, you just let me know. Yep, you got it. There we go. And so when you do that, so if you kind of, that point is pretty sharp and that can be used, right, as part of the tool. So if you start with the point and you drag it along instead of trying to chop. Uh, right there? Yeah, just do that. There you go. Wow. 
So you see how you, you're, you're pulling it. So you're doing less pulling and you're actually letting the knife do Gosh. more of the work, right? I figured there was a better way than whatever I think. We're getting there. We're getting there. Here. You All want right. me to... Yeah, show me how it's done. Okay. Here, let's just take over here. I'll do this. You will be able to open some cans. That will be your next project. Right. I'm not sure that a knife and an onion is going to be any better, right? No, I don't think so. That was probably beginner level right there, and I think I failed. <laughs> no, it's just a first try. It's just a first try. Are you superstitious about what you eat on game day? Um, not too bad. I, I know what I like, and I usually stick with chipotle or something rice and meat, pretty simple. Um, I wouldn't say I'm superstitious about it, but I, I mean, every week I basically end up eating the same thing, so. Are you superstitious about anything on game day? Because I think of you, when it comes to your preparation, I think of you as being super thoughtful and intentional, and um, you are just, you're set in your routine, which is a great thing for a pitcher. For sure. I am, yeah. I think it, it does come across that way, and I mean, I, I basically do the same things at the same times every day which sounds like superstition, but I'm, I'm careful with that word because I, I, I don't know, I feel like once you get caught up in it, if you don't do something exactly the same way, you can think things aren't yeah. gonna work out that day. So I've kind of had that a long time ago in the past and I try to stay away from it now. There you go. Good. Oh boy. I love this. It's getting there. Now you've got no choice but to help in the kitchen. I know, really. When you get down towards the end, I'll finish it off. That way you don't. Okay. That way we don't take any so unnecessary risks. We be careful risks. here, yeah. We don't need to. I've come a long way already. I'll take that. This, that's a, that's yes. a win for me. I do not like having my fingers smell like garlic. Also, like, yeah, you don't need to chop idea. anything. So what I would do is just give this a little squeeze right into the pot. So at this point, we've got Boy. red pepper. You keep an eye on it, make sure. Perfect. Is that good? Yep. Okay. So at this point, we've got garlic. We've got a medium onion and we have an entire red pepper that is sauteing and getting all happy with our taco seasonings and our pound of turkey. Looks good already. It smells pretty it smells good Smells good too, yeah. Okay, so now we need to add some liquid in here. So I'm gonna have you open. How are you with a can opener? <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> when I tell you I'm never in the kitchen, I mean it. Like, I don't know anything. This we'll, was we'll not an exaggeration. <laughs> this was not a, um, you weren't trying to like sucker me in. You weren't <laughs> no, trying it to, wasn't. okay. This could be bad afterwards in the comments when people learn I can't even use a can opener. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to use can openers for a lot of things these there days. It's working so far. Look at that. His wife is so proud right now. <laughs> oh, sure. All right. Perfect. There we go. We got one. You got one. Go ahead and open that one. I don't want to break the concentration that's happening right now. It's a serious business. Okay. Do All that right. one. Perfect. So what we have here is eight ounces of tomato sauce. We're going to dump this in here. Have a can of Rotel tomatoes. So these are refried beans. What we are using refried beans for is to take the place of a little bit of the cheese. This is the healthier version of it. And so that's gonna give it a creaminess and it's gonna, going to thicken it up without having all of that extra cheese. I know that the cheese is super good and gooey. Sometimes we just don't need that. It calls for a cup of refried beans. Okay. This is a 16 ounce can, okay? Or no, he's nervous. Oh boy. Eight ounces is a cup. That's what I thought, okay. So instead of actually measuring this into a measuring cup. It sounds like half the can. Half the can okay. would be great. <laughs> you do that. I'm gonna relax with my wine <laughs> for a second. There we that go. One. Perfect. You can set that off to the side. All right. And then we're going to open the kidney beans. Okay. Which is easy. And this one actually is easy. Oh, perfect. So that's got a pop top on it. It's like they knew I was coming. 
<laughs> or like sometimes I just have a hard time. So do that and what I'm gonna do is drain this off just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna have you dump that. All right. Into our Dutch oven. The whole thing? Yeah. All of it. All right. Perfect. Now if you would grab, we've got some good, like we've got some good thickness going on here, oh, yeah. but we still have to cook pasta in the same dish. Okay. So we need some liquid to be able to do that. If you could grab the chicken broth, yep, and grab the measuring cup, and what we're looking for is 15 ounces, okay. which if that's 16, it's just underneath. Gotcha. And if you pour in 16 ounces, it'll be okay. I, think I can do this one. I can't wait to see what happens when he grates cheese later on. <laughs> Might be skipping that one. <laughs> I don't even trust myself. All right, okay. basically 16, but you said that's all right. So. That's perfect. So pour that in. All right. Yeah. And then I'm gonna have you grab a cup and a half of water. So just pour that straight, yep. Oh wait, a cup and a half, so 12 ounces. Yeah, and it should, you should oh, be able yeah. to see. There we go. Yep. Right. And this goes in there too? Yeah, this goes in there too. Excellent. All right. And the hard part is done. Perfect. So That's good news. <laughs> I was getting say, nervous. Even that hard. Well, not for you. You've still got some challenges ahead. What we're going to do is let this sit here. All of these flavors are going to meld together. Ideally, you are going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and just be happy and bubbly. It's about on medium. This is gonna get bubbly enough. We wanna make sure that it is at a boil because when you add the pasta, it's just like cooking pasta normally, only we're not gonna drain it, right? So it's gonna cook okay. for the same amount of time, but we need that, that liquid, like hot and bubbling gotcha. and yeah. all of that good stuff. Okay. So while that happens, here's your next challenge. Oh boy. We are going to play Virtual Master Chef. So tell me what you would do. I'm gonna give you five ingredients. Tell me what you would make with these five ingredients. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Broccoli, mushrooms, cheese, pasta, and shrimp. Man, you probably make uh, like a chicken Alfredo or something like that. Or wait, did you say shrimp? Shrimp, shrimp Alfredo. It's tough to make chicken alfredo with shrimp, but I was so close. I, that's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. though. And I think broccoli and mushrooms are actually things that you would eat, right? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I usually get them off, but I, I'm, I'm fine with them in there. I, I've heard of them in the dish, though, so I I, it rang a bell okay. when I heard it. In the minor leagues, did you guys cook, or did you guys go out, or did you eat clubhouse um, food? Because Cal was your roommate. Yeah. And Cal's a cook. I mean, he, he likes good. to cook. He's pretty good, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, you're at the field and, and you get lunch and dinner there basically every day. And I'm fine with breakfast. I mean, it's hard to mess up eggs and bacon, stuff like that. Oh wait, so you can cook, you can just make breakfast food. Very simple things. I can do breakfast, I can, if I had to live on my own, I wouldn't die. Basically, I know, I know the very bare minimum, but that's about it. We have a pretty low bar here uh, for <laughs> happiness if he was living by himself. Exactly. So it's a good thing that's not the case for exactly. you. Exactly. Uh -huh. Cal did step up a few times. He makes a good lasagna. I don't I know heard, if he's told you that. I've heard. It's very good. I need the recipe. Uh, he's done breakfast a few times while I've slept in and let him just kind of make some extras for himself and I take the extras. So we had a pretty good deal there, for me at least. I was going to say, I don't think he would agree <laughs> with the we part of that yeah. one. Yeah, um, it, it worked for me, and uh, he, he's very nice about it. He's a really good roommate. I'm gonna have you dump in, not quite the entire box. This is 12 ounces, what we really need is about eight. Okay. If you do more or less, it doesn't matter. So if you uh, need eight ounces, so it's like three quarters of the box. Gotcha. Just dump that in. It's 
about right. Get it? All right, so. perfect. We're gonna give this a stir, and then you cook the pasta according to the directions on the box. So it should be about nine minutes, eight to yep. nine minutes. Yep. So if I was really good, I would check the time. You're gonna have to remind me, because I know that I'm gonna get distracted okay. to pull this out in nine minutes. I got you. Since Logan has better things to do, I went ahead, I made this yesterday, so I'm gonna have you finish this one off okay. while this continues to cook. To finish it off, first I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like Ooh, when it's done. That does look good. Okay. So what we're gonna do to finish this off is add some cheese to the top, some scallions and some cilantro. The scallions and cilantro will brighten it up just a little bit. It's kind of what makes it the adult version. Okay. When you add fresh herbs or when you add like just a little bit of onion, it's a pop of freshness and brightness at the top of a dish that would otherwise be pretty heavy. We need some cheese in here because, you know, like hamburger helper got and to, cheesy right? mac, yeah. you gotta have cheese in there. Um, how do you feel about grating cheese? I could try it out. I I don't know, I could, I could probably do it. Or I can at least try and then once I fail, I can give it to you. Why would you even think it, is that what an athlete says, I'll try, once I fail? I am very confident on the field and elsewhere, but not in the kitchen, I know my limits. Okay. It's like the final test for me, it's a big deal. Do I get a, a demonstration, okay, instructional so video? Okay, so we don't need a lot. We just need to go like this. Okay, I can okay? do that. You don't have to, it doesn't, you don't have to press down hard on it. What, and we're only, and keep your fingers on this part okay. because those actually are sharp. Oh, I believe it. They will, yes. I don't want you to get anywhere close to that. All right, we're getting there. I wish I had a gold star to give him. Like, it looks, I mean, I'm doing okay here, but again, it looks so easy when you were doing it at first. We're getting there. There you go, you can add a little bit more or you can be done whenever you would like. I mean, it's really your personal preference on how much cheese you like. I uh, think, I mean, if you're good, I'm good there. Okay, why don't right. you set that right there. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a cheesy stir. And your final, final test is adding the scallions okay. and the cilantro. Okay, so just kind of rough cut okay. that. Again, keep your hand, your hand can be way back there. We're not looking for anything. We're just kind of trying to separate it a little bit because gotcha. we're gonna, yep, you got it. And just kind of freshens it up a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna serve it up. Okay, taco, turkey, chili mac. Yeah, I'm excited. You ready? It looks good. Okay. Let's do it. Dig in. Don't burn your mouth. That is good. It lives up to the hype. We got kind of the casserole-y, kind of lasagna-y, yeah. kind of. It's got everything you want. And really no vegetables, which is your preference. Perfect. Just how I like it, yeah. <laughs> okay, now with our wine. Okay. See if, I, see if we did the flavors right. All right, let's see. I mean, I don't know anything, but I'll say that's a great pairing. I think it works really well. I, I, too. I mean, I would have multiple glasses of that one. Wouldn't I have multiple I, I glasses of that? That's, yeah. This is, this is like the the real version, I'm sure. It's gonna be a big test when I'm doing this on my own one day, but I I'll, I'll enjoy it for now while I can. I cannot wait to see the pictures and get the report on that. Logan, thank you so much for stopping by. This has been an absolute thank blast. You. I had a good time. Pleasure. Yeah, this thank really you, This is really good. As you know, for every episode of I Cook, You Measure, a donation is made to a nonprofit working to end food insecurity because for as much fun as we can have preparing and planning a meal, it's just not possible for everyone to do that. So we are proud to contribute to the community in that way. Another thanks to Logan and thanks to you for watching. We'll see you next time. I liked um, you opening the can, so the can opener. Man. <laughs>
I was trying so hard to not make noise. It's like holding my breath. <laughs> even little stuff like that, that doesn't even cross my mind until I actually do it. And then I'm like, wait, this would be very embarrassing if I can't do it. I Cook You Measure is presented by Ascend Hospitality Group, a black and female-led independent restaurant group based in Bellevue, Washington. The collection of concepts proudly employs more than 700 people in Washington, Oregon, Utah, and Arizona. Committed to elevating the communities it serves, AHG invests wholly in both its team members and its guests to take service to the next level. Learn more at ascendhg.com.